Hi, welcome to the last part of this project. In this video number seven, I am going to fit back the last parts, fire up the engine and make a short test on the Autobahn. Reinstalling the power steering pump. Installing a new tensioner pulley for the air conditioning belt. Refitting the main belt. Make sure that the belt sits correctly. Installing the air conditioning belt. Fitting a new drain plug and washer for the oil pan. Putting the power steering tank back in place. Zip tying that cable harness like it was. Now inspection time, starting with changing the oil filter. Changing the oil filter gasket. Applying a layer of engine oil on the gasket helps getting a better sealing. Time to put the new engine oil. Now, theoretically, you're gonna need 6.5 liters engine oil, but after doing the vano system and the pan gasket, maybe you're gonna need a half a liter more than this. Oh, yeah. I am checking if there is any leakages before firing up the engine. Installing the fan back in place. Mm -hmm. 
Actually, the fan is fixed into the radiator from below with three spots of clips, as you can see here. But the radiator is collapsing slowly, so this fixation is not that good anymore, which causes a little bit of vibration. This way. The radiator is still original on this car. Luckily, it is not leaking, but it is written on my to-dos list, including the thermostat, the water pump, and the cooling. <laughs> Refitting the air cooling hose for the alternator. Checking the coolant level. Mm -hmm. It is good, but I am going to add some. These refitting the air intake parts. Here I am trying to show you how I am staying organized through this project. This is the moment of truth. I have checked it uh, one last time everything, all the connections, all the sensors and so on. Now I will start the engine. Good news! The radio is working! <laughs> so I think I am not forgetting anything. She's building. sounding like it is misfiring a little bit but after a couple of seconds the idle was smooth like butter it's running something is burning over there i don't know what it is it is some oil which is well burning, that right? burning stuff was a little bit of oil i don't know or cleaning stuff chemicals that i have been using in this project and uh, after a couple of seconds everything was gone and no smokes at all here i am checking if there is any leakages but i have spotted something strange over there which is leaking and that scared me out after checking and doing some investigation, it was just water. It was just a condensed water coming from the air conditioning drain circuit and the weather was too cold outside. But for sure, it was neither coolant nor oil. No faulty codes. The idols looks like normal. It is stable. It's just water, you know, water. Checking for leakages again and again. I've decided to reinstall everything and take the car for the test drive. Here I am struggling putting back that piece of sheet. Every time I forget how to put it back. Every time. Exactly that way, otherwise you have to pull this guy. Refitting the reinforcement plate.
removing the jacks, now lowering the car for the first time after 3 months staying on jacks. Very important, the sway bar should be tightened only when the wheels are on the ground. I took the car for the first test drive and I was tracking the long and the short term fuel trends. At the beginning everything was doing fine with the values and suddenly I got minus 12.5% for the long term values for both of the banks. This means that the engine is running too rich and the computer is extracting 12.5% of the fuel amount to compensate that air fuel mixture. In a normal working condition of the engine, the long-term fuel trim should be at 0%. This means that the computer is not extracting or adding any amount of fuel. Now there is a couple of reasons leading to a rich condition, which are the fuel pressure. This means the fuel pump could be faulty, all the fuel injectors could be leaking, or the fuel pressure regulator could be also faulty, or simply a bad MAF sensor. After this test, I was driving the car just in town to give the Venus a little bit of time to work itself and uh, I was waiting my appointment to check the geometry. Let's go to the autobahn and see how this car performs after doing the Venus rebuild and uh, yeah, the oil pan gasket and the other gasket of the filter housing are not so relevant for this test. but. Make sure that you uh, yeah, that you check the geometry of the front axle after after doing the oil pan gasket because the subframe was was removed and uh, the lower arm bushings were also removed. So now we are on our way to the autobahn, and actually I feel that the car is performing a little bit better than before a little bit no speed limit but uh, returning back to the performance of this car now I see I don't feel actually that big change but I feel that it performs a little bit better than before a little bit because I didn't maybe I didn't have big issues with the balance unit and uh, I did it anyway Now I can conclude that this project was done successfully but I still have a lot of things to do on this car which are tracking the fuel trims and finding out the reason of this rich condition on the engine and I will be refreshing the cooling circuit and doing the brakes and a lot of other stuff. Stay tuned, a lot of fun will be coming. Thanks for watching, see you next time.